different idea for you. Throughout recent history, there has always been a clash between what looks good and what is useful. It could be purely purposeful, like modding a car's sounds and aesthetics versus modding for its performance. Or it could be something as trivial as capturing a Pokemon using a Pokeball based solely on its color and not its intended use. I'm sure you have something like this in your own lives. This unsung war between seers and doers is one of the most innocent forms of controversy. For most conceived ideas, what looks good and what performs well can never overlap, and if they do, it's at the expense of one or the other. There are few times in modern history where the two modes of logic can comfortably overlap in harmony, but if it does, it becomes a culture-defining product for decades to come. It should be no surprise that stoners finally get their turn. This is the Kalis Critique, and without further ado, I present to you The Standing Ashtray by Houseplant, a company made by Seth Rogen. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's just an ashtray. Seth Rogen definitely isn't the first. In fact, I could see a totally valid argument that Cheech and Chong are probably the first celebrities to produce a celebrity-endorsed ashtray. But the difference comes down to intent and execution. Cheech and Chong did not innovate a single thing. They were just hoping their audience approved of them enough to buy their products. And that's the cold hard truth. And this is in stark contrast to the standing ashtray by Houseplant. Never have I seen an ashtray attempt to be a centerpiece of furniture. And not just any centerpiece of furniture, it's a mid-century inspired centerpiece that has a walnut base, brushed brass stem, and the ever-important borosilicate glass ashtray. Its presentation is flawless, and it is no doubt going to start a conversation the second it is seen in any room. And upon some consideration, the only downside to this is that it doesn't come in multiple heights. The current version of this product currently stands at 25 inches tall, which is good for most living room chairs and short sofa heights. However, if you're in a computer chair or you're in a high chair, this will not cut it. It's gonna be way too short. You're, you're gonna be either ashing below your knee or you're gonna be dropping the ash from three feet in the air and that is not ideal. But that isn't to say there's anything wrong with the current product, it just has to fit your needs. But I would like to see more sizes available in the future, considering it is on the short side. Every ashtray I've seen up until this point was designed to be hideable. And it's no surprise that cannabis followed and filled the gap led and left by tobacco. The reasons may vary, but cannabis smokers inherited a lot of tobacco's tools, traditions, and implementation. And for the last few decades, tobacco has been slowly being pushed out of American households, which means the design of ashtrays had to be easily hideable and had to be stored away. Which brings me to my driving point. The design of this ashtray screams, cannabis and tobacco are not the same, and I refuse to be hidden. Extra points for that. And so the centerpiece became a statement piece. I smoke weed, and I'm proud. That's who this ashtray is for. It's an ashtray designed for people who don't want to feel shame anymore, who don't want to have to suppress this part of themselves. And I am delighted to finally have one in my home. Unfortunately, the only way to get one is to either steal mine, or you have to bite a scalper on Etsy selling it for twice its original price. However, I do think it still might be worth it to have this piece of history in your home. I know it was for me. This is the Kalix Critique. That is my review, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good growing, guys. Oh, 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 oh.